Hello. No, absolutely not. Well, no, there is no scientific ground to what he's saying. Uh, it's not possible that the DHC is going to destroy the world. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, it is 9.15. We are 15 minutes away from BEAM. We've been sitting here about 7 o'clock, and absolutely nobody brought food. <laughs> Again, 15 minutes to BEAM. Ciao, ciao. Stress levels are high. Ciao. But since I'm in a room full of Italians, the stress level is pretty cool here. But we have no coffee either. No coffee. Who didn't bring coffee? What we're going to see today is the launch of the first beam of protons around this enormous ring. Very shortly, Lynn Evans, the project director, is going to be addressing CERN staff who are gathered at different points around this massive complex. It's, it's just the first glimpse at the fact that the machine can run. I mean, so what you need really is you need two beams colliding together for quite a few, for quite a long period of time before you calculate, get enough sufficient statistics in which to actually be able to look for the new physics. But the single beam, the first beam, isn't even that. You're not even getting any collisions. It's just one beam going around in the circle, not even at the high energies, just one beam going around in a low energy circle that sort of says, okay, we made it around the ring once for the first time. And it's a huge event. Right, after 19 years, you've been waiting for this first step. Let's get started, everybody. Now comes the day of reckoning. I mean, if 